Today Parliament will return to work. What surprises can we expect today? That's what I want to talk about in this video. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another short Brexit video. Today I just want to prepare you for what is coming up today after a Supreme Court uh, rule yesterday. The Speaker of the House, John Burko, announced yesterday already that Parliament will return to work today. Of course, there are some limits to the work today, but there are some, well, some would say not so une unexpected surprises John Burko announced yesterday already. First of all, something that a lot of people haven't thought about, but it is important, is that there won't be Prime Minister's questions today, especially uh, regarding the fact that uh, Boris Johnson will probably not be back in time from New York, but they couldn't call him in anyway, because there are notification periods for Prime Minister's questions um, the Parliament has to stick to, and that wouldn't have worked anyway. Parliament will return to work at 11.30 a.m. today, even if there's not enough time to put um, Prime Minister's question on the schedule, there will be enough time to put minister statements on schedule. So it means there's enough time to hold ministers to account, even if they couldn't um, get the prime minister there. As well, there's enough time for urgent questions. We had this short before Parliament, well, was not prorogued. <laughs> I'm still thinking about how to um, name what happened after what the Supreme Court said yesterday. There will also be enough time for urgent debates on Standing Order Number 24. That what was used to get the Ben Bill in, uh, enacted as the Ben Law with Royal Assent. So we will see what Parliament is planning for today, what surprises will come from the opposition today. There are of course more speculations, like for example some people think there might be a vote of no confidence today. I really don't believe that will happen because um, the major part that is important for, for that hasn't changed. The opposition didn't want an election before the extension is secured with the EU and there is no elect, uh, extension secured at the moment at all because Boris Johnson said he is obeying the law but they will be out on the 31st of October, he will get a deal and um, as problematic as that is with the current negotiations with the EU, um, it doesn't sound so much as if he would ask for an extension. So in case of a vote of no confidence, the only way for the opposition would be to name a caretaker prime minister. But as we heard before, nobody except Labour wants Jeremy Corbyn as caretaker prime minister, even not for this short period of time until a general election. Of course, Jeremy Corbyn would like this. He would want to be caretaker prime minister, go to Brussels, ask for an extension, go to negotiate, and as I talked about in my Labour video, then put his deal up for a referendum, campaign for Remain, although he's a Brexiteer and just let's forget it. Um, but the Lib Dems won't vote for him as caretaker prime minister and I'm quite sure that most of the so-called rebel alliance won't vote for Jeremy Corbyn as well. And if there is no caretaker prime minister within 14 days, there will be a general election with a dissolved parliament. So the whole fight at the Supreme Court would be in vain because parliament would not be sitting for 25 days while Brexit is happening. So that is something that I really don't believe that's going to happen today. But in everything that happened with Brexit so far, we are never safe from surprises. So we'll just have to wait and see. We will know from 11.30 on, Parliament will be sitting. John Burko will open Parliament again. Although, well, he said it's never been closed. Complicated to say the right thing there. Let's just wait and see. If there are interesting news, of course, I will get you uh, get to you with another video immediately as soon as I can. But for now, I just want to thank you for watching. Have a nice day.
and see you soon.